Hi, I will try to explain my project. It is a client server application through TCP IP connection. In the server executable, we have a main thread that controls the user's interactions with the screen and the controls. The main thread creates a secondary thread that controls all the communication section with the client sockets asynchronously. Each client creates a secondary thread which allows us to have multiple interactions in real time with the different clients. Let's show how it works. Normally the communication between client and server is inactive. When an event occurs in the client, for example press button 1, the client sends the event to the server. In the value format, comma, value in parentheses, you can specify multiple values in each call. Once the request is processed, the server returns the result or action to be processed in the client. In this case turn on LED1. On the server, there is also a monitoring process that runs every 5 seconds and that checks if the client is alive, if it is not alive, removes it from the client list. In this demo we can see the operation of the example. In this case, three clients are connected. Each client appears in the list of the server. We can also see that in the server we have a list that shows us the id of the client, the status of each LED, and each button. We can see how each event produced in the client is processed in the server and it sends the response immediately to the client. This architecture has the advantage that all the logic can be programmed on the server side, and clients only send the events and receive the actions. No code is necessary in the clients. Now we can see how the monitor event works on the server. Every 5 seconds, a control message is sent to all connected clients. If a client is disconnected and does not respond, it is removed from the list. We can also use another Telnet client to check the operation, in this case we connect to IP 192.168.1.4 and port 8888, we can see how we receive the control signal. In this case we can send a message to turn on the three LEDs at the same time. This is all. In the future I will create a series of videos to see in detail the code and so that you can learn how to make these applications yourself.